Hey YouTube, what's going on? Commander Kobo here, and today I got you guys another combination lock design. Now, my first one I showed you in another video. It's kind of big and drawn out, kinda, but it's still very effective. I I like this one probably the best out of all mine, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna start using this one because this one is so much more compact, and it's a lot easier to uh, understand. So basically how it works is if you are going to be using a 1, 3, 5, 7 repeaters, like that's going to be your design of how you do the combination lock. So the one that lasts the longest is the button you would hit first. So basically you hit that one first and then the one second longest, you did that one second. And then this one lasts the third longest, you did that one third. And this one lasts the, the least. So how this works is whenever the signal is stopped this signal is stopped and then this one and then this one and then whenever all the signals are uh, simultaneously stopped then this will be turned on and this turns right back on so it turns into the T flip-flop on and off so I'm going to show you that it does work you just hit one two three four and yeah so and you can also do it with nine and my combination on this one is right here right here right here and right here and you have to hit it in that order it can't you can't just randomly hit the like I'm hitting the same coded buttons but it has to be like it has to be in that order, so it'd have to be and you could even do it like this, I'm pretty sure it won't work. It might Yeah, see. Uh, you can only have one off, but you have to get the original one. So if I did that, it shouldn't work. And it doesn't. So I think this uh is a very good way to do it so I'm gonna teach you how to build this really quick so basically you're gonna start out with three by three by three and you wanna be able to see and then just put uh, redstone torches all along the back of this and make out your uh, go ahead and make your design for the uh, the outputs I've showed you this before and then put one right here here and here Alright, that's your basic output, and next you're going to want to, wait, nope, not done yet, need to put a redstone, and then a repeater, and then block with dust on that, block, actually you're going to want another block coming out for this one, you're going to want a repeater as, you're always going to want a repeater as the output, so, you're gonna come right here. Uh, dust. Repeater. Dust. Repeater. And now that's the bottom layer. That is the, the bottom. Next, you're gonna do the top. No. All these need to be set on one. And then repeater, repeater, and then repeater, dust, and now next we got our top layer. So you're gonna put dust, repeater. 
dust repeater. Now every output should have two repeaters, basically. And dust repeater, all set on one. So this is basically the th uh, how you're going to want it. So next, you're going to want to go ahead and put your buttons on. And if you have a design in mind of uh, what you want your combination to be, like, let's say I want mine to be like this. You just go ahead and take those buttons off for now. And then find the uh, torches that are with those buttons. So I want the three diagonals and this one. So you can take off that. Take off that. Take off that. Take off that. 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 Nope, that one stays. Now, that's just to be sure that you see uh, which ones you want. And for some reason, these are staying on. Hmm. Source 3. Source 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why is this one staying on? Oh, that's why. Hmm. How did I do that before? There we go. Alright, just edit that a little bit. If this is how you gonna how you're gonna want it to be. And I guess you could put this repeater right here if you were gonna do that. And then alright, so you see the four you want. It's basically these four. What you're gonna do is you're gonna uh come out, figure out which ones you want to use first. So I want my combination to be let's make it one two three four so this one is gonna go first so this one needs to last the longest so this one will have seven repeaters on full delay that is seven and then the next one is the middle and it's gonna have five repeaters on full delay <coughs> and then the next one is this one and it's gonna have three repeaters on full delay and then our last one is right Here. And it's gonna have one repeater on no, three, yeah, one repeater on full delay. And then you're gonna put your redstone dust right here. Reds, no, I did not mean to do that. Redstone dust right here. And then basically you're gonna just make a block so that all of them can touch it easily. Actually, this needs to go one more out. Block. It doesn't need to be exactly like that. Just make sure that you put another repeater set on one. Another repeater set on one. Set on one. Set on one. Set on one. There's nothing in this column, so... And then just get the dust, connect everything up. Uh, hmm. You can put, and you can just do minor things to fix it if it doesn't fit exactly. Like that. And then that, that, that. Alright, next you're going to get your output, which is right here. Hook it up to a T flip flop if you want it to be a on off type thing, which would come up, no, come up, uh, 
Uh, sorry if this video is a little bit longer than it needed to be, but I'm trying to show you guys this perfect. And then redstone dust or torch, dust dust, and there. That's your T flip flop, which turns a button output into a lever output, so it keeps a constant source going for you. And just to be sure, this is what your output would be. Let's say like this would be our door, and then you could have a reset button. I'll show you how to set that up in a minute. Let's just be sure this works. Uh, so, pretty sure the code was one, two, three, four. Yep, and that's how you do it. And yeah, so it has to be in that order. It has to be exactly in that order. You are timed a little bit, but that shouldn't matter as long as you know the code. And then I'm going to show you how to build a reset button really quick. So like, let's say you walk into the room. To close the door and reset everything, you just come over here and bring a source back over to the T flip-flop. <coughs> so basically... This will also open it and close it, but if you want me to show you, can stop watching the video now, but if you want me to show you how to make it where it'll only close it, just do this. Alright, my bad guys, I messed up, but I'm going to show you how to build a reset button so that where whenever you uh, click this, it will only close and it won't open. So basically what you do is you're going to come right here, come over a repeater down with a regular piston right here with the redstone hooked up to it coming from the T flip flop from the on source and then another piston right here with and you're gonna want this signal to go back to the T flip flop to turn it off and you're gonna want two repeaters right here on full delay and then hook that up to that piston and as you can see it'll turn it'll close the circuit and it will open it or it won't open it that's how the reset button should work and to make that work again you'd have to do the code and as you can see it pushes that back in there so the reset button will once again work and you're probably wondering, well, this looks like it's closing or and not opening, but you can make it easily to where it turns the signal off instead. So doing it, something like this. I mean, that's basic redstone, though. You probably knew that. And then you just reset it. And it works the same way. So <clears throat> I think this is a pretty good tutorial. Uh, I kind of designed that myself, like I figured that out, no one's ever showed me anything like that before, so uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will be uploading something like this every day, so thanks for watching guys, see ya.